Ash Ketchum. He has been the protagonist of the Pokemon anime for nearly 24 years. But during those 24 years, has he actually developed as a character or is he a so-called static character? Or dare we say, a bad character. Either way, why is he the way he is and what exactly is his actual function in the Pokemon anime? As always, it's going to be a fun time, so kindly request your Machoke to cross chop that like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's jump right in. Hey everyone, it's Charles. How are you today? Spring is here, cherry blossom season is here, fresh cat turds all over the streets are here. And the beginning of Ash Ketchum's 25th year in the Pokemon universe is almost here as well. And if you've been following this channel for a while, then you are no stranger to Ash Ketchum. Maybe you've even watched the 20 minute backstory we put out on him the other month. In a nutshell, Ash is a Pokemon trainer who's adventured around the world, persevered through adversity and tough losses, racked up impressive wins, and a host of invaluable friends, overcome opponents who tried to undermine his very worldview, dissuaded genetically engineered kangaroo monsters from being assholes by simply running at them, and you get the point. Basically, Ash is this unwavering hero and a role model to both the characters around him as well as to the viewers of the show. Ash has been consistently portrayed as as charismatic, selfless, loyal, resourceful, goal-driven, and dedicating his life to etching his name into the annals of Pokemon battling history while also looking out for those around him. However, in spite of his track record of wonderful achievements and an all-star personality, Ash certainly has his critics. In particular, critics who think that his character has been dragged out for too long without sufficient development, that it is unacceptable to have such a static character in the spotlight for such a long time. These critics, they want to see Mr. Ketchum in the slammer and new blood take his place. But this begs the question, is Ash Ketchum actually a static character? A basic beans hero archetype who hasn't changed one bit over the duration of the anime? And if he is indeed static, then why is that the case and why has he been in stasis for so long? And does that actually make him a bad character? What is his real purpose in the anime? Yes, Ash is a static character to an extent, but it's not entirely true that he hasn't developed and there's also some interesting context related to his unchanging character. Firstly, much of Ash's static nature is tied to the structure of the Pokemon anime and the function that he is required to play within that structure. As you know, the Pokemon anime is part of a broader multimedia franchise and intended to churn out episodes to support that franchise essentially until the end of time. And in order to fulfill his role as the lead of such a never-ending anime series, Ash was soon molded into this ageless character designed to adventure in perpetuity. A character who can't develop too much or the story would become unrelatable to its target audience. He isn't a character like Goku or Harry Potter or even Deku. Characters who age and move along a linear story track with the tone of their stories evolving along with them. Furthermore, the creative direction and the story of Ash himself has been juggled between various teams, directors, and writers at OLM since the late 1990s, and having a multitude of writers pulling his character in different directions makes him quite different from a character like Luffy in the similarly long-running One Piece, or even Deku in the more recent My Hero Academia, yay, season 5, which are each the brainchild of a single person with a character arc and story presumably mapped towards a conclusion. Accordingly, Ash is fairly static even compared to relatively bread and butter but more dynamic heroes like Deku, who has certainly changed since the beginning of his adventure, gaining powers, gaining confidence, gaining greater and greater levels of responsibility, a character who has underwent very clear mental and physical progression in order to contend with increasingly dangerous foes even as mentor figures fade into the background and he is forced to take on one of the most stressful burdens imaginable. Ash, on the other hand, is forced through a new league cycle every three years, often undergoing a soft reset and building a new team with new companions. However, in spite of what we have just outlined, we can't write Ash off as entirely static, as he actually has undergone development in a variety of ways, particularly over the first decade of the anime he developed from this runty, stubborn, useless little goblin of a trainer into a proper contender, who knew his stuff could actually overcome his rivals and win competitions, and who even started to act like a bit less of a dunce in his personal life curbing in some of his worst vices like his overconfidence, his stubbornness for the sake of stubbornness, and of course, 
his stupidity. So although his core character traits and frame of mind have never shifted very much, he has matured to an extent while also becoming more competent, stacking up bigger and bigger wins and adding plenty of Pokemon to his collection. Similarly, and this is perhaps a bit more subtle, but instead of being chaperoned by older, reliable Big Brother figures, Ash has gradually become that Big Brother figure. And this was particularly evident in Pokemon XY, wherein he shone brightly while also lifting his travel companions up towards great and despite his more silly characteristics coming to the limelight in Sun and Moon, he was still the alpha dog of the group. And even Pokemon Journeys began with Ash in somewhat of a mentor role, although Go has quickly closed the ground by quickly getting a handle on his own competencies. So yes, Ash has remained fairly static over the course of the anime due to the soft resets and the necessity of the Pokemon anime formula, but it would be difficult to argue that he has not undergone character development, at least to the degree that would make sense in the eternal Pokemon anime. Just because he is more static and perhaps less nuanced than your average seasonal anime protagonist, and certainly not Dostoevsky deep, it doesn't mean he is a bad character, and in fact, he serves a very specific narrative purpose in the anime, and he does it quite well, so let's talk about it. What it boils down to is that Ash, as a character intended to last much like Conan or Doraemon, is a character who is better viewed as one part of something bigger, that bigger thing being the group of companions he travels with. As a constant force operating on a group of companions who are cycled out every three years or so, Ash is essentially an extension of these characters, or perhaps they are an extension of him. This is because, since Ash is saddled with the role of timeless face of the anime, the character development in the Pokemon anime, and the type of transformation transformations that might normally occur through Ash himself if this anime was actually intended to reach a conclusion, this development is actually presented through the supporting cast and their interactions with Ash, which push them along their own arcs leading up to whatever conclusion the soft reset brings, rather than transformation occurring through Ash himself. For instance, May. She initially didn't have any interest in Pokemon at all, but Ash pulled her out of her father's shadow, brought her along on an incredible adventure, mentored her, and through this she found her calling to become a Pokemon coordinator. And over the course of her adventure with Ash, she grew into a character with both passion and the competencies necessary to blast off with that pursuit. Another example is Serena. Her adventure was set into motion by Ash rescuing her in her early childhood. That life-changing experience caused her to seek him out later in life, they reunited, and his support support and encouragement pushed her to find her dreams, and then run towards them as she evolved from this dreamless, dull-eyed girl into a hardworking, passionate, and confident Pokemon performer who set out on her own solo adventure at the end of Pokemon XY, finishing up the series in exactly the same frame of mind that Ash came into it with. Similarly, Ash has inspired rivals like Sawyer to transform themselves to get on his level, and most recently he accelerated the development of his dual protagonist co-star in Pokemon Journeys. That is his role in the show not to be a particularly dynamic, transforming character, but to act as a matured character who exudes positivity and knowledge and functions as a change catalyst to those who come into contact with him. So, Ash Ketchum, is he static? Yes, for the most part. Is he a bit more shallow than many older fans would like him to be? Yes, probably. But is he a bad character? I don't think so. Even as the board is reset every three years, and other characters move on with their lives, Ash is always there to inspire the next generation of trainers, and to function as a role model to both companions and viewers looking to better themselves. As an embodiment of classic hero characteristics that are as timeless as Ash himself. And I think that when you consider Ash in this light as a positive, constant force within an ecosystem of companions through which he is vicariously developed in a sense, as if these characters are fragments of of him that grow and go off and do their own things, even as he must continue his duty to carry the torch forward as the eternal beating heart of the Pokemon anime, I think he's pretty good. But how about you? Is Ash a good character or a bad character? Is he as static as people say? Or has he changed over time? And do you think he will ever retire? I'm curious what you think. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and as always, let's chat. What?